Hello everyone. We believe coffee is more than just a drink. It's a culture, an economy, an art, a science and a passion. We would like to take you to the tour to experience celebrated coffee at your comfort. Machine has two parts. One is conical bourbon grinder and second is 15 bar Italian pump machine. It is brew, uh, brewed by own that counts moreover an experience. This is conical burr bean grinder which comes up with 25 grind settings. While looking to it, if we turn right, it is set to coarse grinding and used for pour over cold brew French press. And if we turn left, it can set to do fine grinding for espresso. It also comes up with the quantity setting from 1 cup to 12 cups which minimizes waste and with one touch start and stop button. And looking over to the extraction we must set the grinder for espresso. Pour fresh roasted beans in bean hopper and press start button. Machine would start grinding beans and would convert them in a grounded coffee. Let's move over to the espresso machine. Espresso machine comes up with a heating plate to warm the cups and a drip tray to store wastewater and has a 1.7 liter water reservoir to have plenty supply of water. This is steaming knob to control steam. And this is steaming nozzle. Power switch, brewing switch, water dispensing switch and frothing switch. Pressure gauge indicates brewing pressure which is maximum set to 9 bar. And time indicator indicates time and seconds for both brewing and frothing. To set the time according to your requirement, we would press brewing button and hold it till it starts blinking and we release it to whatsoever time we require for brewing our coffee. Once it's set, then the machine would automatically brew coffee in preset time and will stop automatically after brewing. Preset time is would have short brewed at this specific time until and unless changed again. We would insert pota filter in machine and place cups beneath the pota filter and press brewing switch to just have hot water in the cups and to preheat them. We'll keep the cups aside, take off the pota filter and we'll clean the pota filter with a dry cloth so that make sure it's always dry. We have filter for two cups and one filter for one cup. So we'll insert the filter as per our requirement. We will pour the coffee in the pota filter and we will see there should be no coffee on the edges. We will lock it so that we level the coffee as according to the size of the pota filter. And once it's done, we would tamp the coffee with a tamper so that we make a bed so that water does not pass through the coffee and it holds the pressure. And once we insert the pota filter, we press the brewing button and we see the pressure going up. Once the pressure reaches between 8 to 10 bar, machine starts brewing the coffee. It's and we make sure the right pressure for brewing the coffee is between 8.5 to 9.5 bar. And once the machine, the coffee is done, the coffee is brewed machine will automatically stop. We'll press the frothing button just 
take off the water, excess water from the frothing pipe. The pitcher and we fill the pitcher till here, till here, so that we have the space to have the froth while we are heating the milk. Heating temperature of the milk should not exceed from 140 degree Fahrenheit. That could be like 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. And you cannot, every time you cannot hold the thermometer in your hand and just checking the temperature while you're heating the milk. So just we need to check. If it's too hot that we cannot touch it, it means our milk is ready. And it's, if it, the milk is getting over hot, over hot, then it means the milk is losing its sweetness. So this is the milk we have. We'll just inject the water once again, like this water in the pipeline, once the froth is coming, steam is ready, we'll just, just have the tip of the frothing nozzle inserted to the, in the milk, not the entire frothing nozzle to be inserted in the milk, so that it has some um, space to insert air in the milk. As you can see, milk of frothing, and um, it would take like for two cups, it normally takes, and this should have a noise like hiss. It means we are every time injecting air in the milk, uh, it means we are just having a good froth. We are making a good froth of the milk. As you can see, the, the milk is getting creamy and it looks over more delicious. Once your milk is done, just tap it. So that the big bubbles, they, there, no, there should be no big bubbles in the milk and just pour the milk to your cup and make your own latte or cappuccino at home. Thank you.